Hey guys, so I am back with an update video on the teacher coaster mold that we're going to make again today. So these uh, molds have been very popular. This one's already used from the previous video that I already posted. So here's how they come. Packaged and here is one. We're going to go ahead and make a few um, coasters that I have to do. So if your, if your mold is dirty, uh, you can use some scotch tape and it's an easier way to just get any extra dust in there and out of there. That's all I'm doing here. So I love how durable this mold is. It's deep enough to get all the items that I want in there. And so... Here is the mold. The items that we're going to be using are these, like mentioned in the other video. Any crowns that you want, I buy the 120 because it comes with a lot of options. And then the pins, you can get them anywhere. The little clips was asked a lot in the last video, where did I find them? And I could have sworn I got them at Walmart and since I've been going back I have not had any luck finding them well I have good news for you today I found these at Michael's and they are new they have the pastel ones I guess for around the Easter ones and I found the little mini clothespins so that's awesome I was able to find them so now if you guys are wondering where can you buy these you can find them at your local Michael's or maybe even online so that answers that one because a lot of you love these. And as far as the little pins, you can get this one on Amazon or you can look at uh, Target. Are these the ones that I bought? The cap erasers. The paper clips. I mean, really just look around, like try to make a one-stop shop. Go to Walmart, see what you find. Or go to Target and see what you find. And... Um, the little pencils, these are from Target. So these are all the supplies that you're going to need. I just bought this this tray um, and it just makes it easy to just really see what, to have it all in one area if that makes sense. I have one pencil here. I'm going to make three of them so I'm going to need three. <clears throat> and they already come sharpened so that's pretty convenient. You don't have to do anything there. They're already sharpened. Okay. So, yes, I'm happy that I could add to that video on those little pins. Let's see. Oh, uh, another thing that I like to add are the rainbow mixed sprinkles. I'm going to add those as well. So, these are the ones that I substituted um, that I saw some other creators were using these little sprinkles. And uh, I'm scared to know if it'll bleed after some time. So I just went ahead and picked these cute little rainbow sprinkles. They're polymer clay, so they're not real. They're not edible. They don't, you can't eat them. And so I know that they won't bleed within the resin. Okay, so now that we have everything all together, let's get started. Okay, so here I'm mixing some, um, last time you guys were asking me uh, what do I use, the type of epoxy, I'm going to use the medium one from uh, Counterculture. It's made more mainly for um, the molds than, than the other one. You don't want to use fast set on molds. And there's the regular and the medium one, that's the one that I'm using. For this particular project and so remember the trick here is you're not going to fill your whole mold to the very top because if you do that then all your items are just going to rise to the very top so we're going to work in different layers here so i guess this is like a recap video from the last video okay So really you just want a little base that way you're able to put all the different items all around the circle and I mixed let's see let me check 
I mixed 30 ml A and part B, another 30. So here in total, this is 60. And so all I want is for it to go all the way in, all the way around the mold, I'm sorry. And that's really as thin as you want it for the first. I'm not worried about the bubbles, we'll get those out in a bit. So one thing that I don't recommend is using the cap erasers. What it ended up doing, it just made the mold way too thick to work with. And I think it'll be much easier and better without it. So you have to remember that the way the mold is facing, we want it to face down. So you want to see where right here, the brand of the pencil, if you face it up, then it's not going to show on the other side. If you face it down, then when you turn the mold the other way around, it will show. So I'm going to place it. And then I'm going to pick a color. Let's see. This is a really pretty color. Robin's Egg Blue. How cool. I am usually a sucker for purple and pinks, if you know me already. Um... Carnation pink is a pretty one. Okay, so same thing with the brand here. You want to make sure that you face it upside down. That way it shows. Okay. So um, right here, I'm going to leave a little bit of space because that's where I'm going to place the teacher's name. Okay. Leaving a little bit of gap there so the name can go there. And then you can get fun. You can get creative. I'm not going to put the cap eraser on the pencil. I just figured it is better without it. So as you see, it's the resin is not all the way to the top. So it's not going to be moving and messing around with anything that I place. your sprinkles oh some already fell in there So if you're happy with the way it looks, then you're done. You don't, you wait for this, I would say about four hours, and then you can come and do the next layer. So I'm gonna go ahead and do all three and then I'll show you how they look. is the first layer to doing the teacher coaster mold so we're gonna let these um, sit here for four hours difference from the first video to this one is I'm not including this cap eraser because I've made the previous coaster just way too thick and I'll be happy without it it's fine showing the pencil 
uh, eraser anyway. So you'll see at the end how it'll look. Okay, guys, so here we go. It's been a few hours and they look awesome. So how do you know that you're ready for the next layer? So basically, you can just see that nothing moves. You can tap it and it's it's on there. So now we know that we are ready for the next layer. And I'm gonna show you where to stop before we do the final layer. So let's go on to layer two. Okay. We're gonna to wanna to make sure that we cover over this pencil and crown. Alrighty, so here it is. I'm gonna move stuff around. Um, it's there where I want it. I'm not gonna go. It's exactly like right above where where I want it to be. And so from here, I'm gonna go ahead and let it get hard and cure, and then I'm gonna add the last layer. And then on the last layer, you can either leave it clear so it's see through. Uh, then you would just do another thin one just because it's almost over here. But in this case, uh, we're going to do a different background color for this one. So when you turn it over, you can see the, the blue in the bottom or the pink, whatever color you decide to use. So we're going to go ahead and leave it like this. I'll pop the bubbles in a little bit. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. And we're going to do all of them. Okay, so here they are. And I have them exactly right above those two, the pencil and the crown. So we're gonna go ahead and let this feel like fully cure. And then we're gonna come back with the last and final layer and then go from there. All right, so here they are. It's been about 24 hours. And I'm mixing the resin right now. And so the base, color that I'm going to use is royal blue these were requested from the teachers that I'm making them for for hot chili and Maleficent and it's not going to take a lot of resin to do the base because all we're doing is just uh, finalizing anything that needs to be covered on the top which is not that much of a layer I'm going to mix this in and check for the consistency. And it's going to need more until it's a little too thin. It's going to need more. I really want this purple base to not see through. Now, the only thing that I see really sticking out is this pin right here. So we want to make sure that it, it won't be sticking up because of then you're not going to have it um, sitting very well at all. And I can still see it sticking up, so we are gonna need more. Mix more. I 
Okay, so this is this is it right here. I don't see anything sticking out. I see the pin there. But it's right over it, which is going to be fine. See, it's still covered. All right, let's do the next colors. Okay, so here's a perfect example why you don't want to go too thin with the coverage when you're doing with the resin because then you're going to be able to see through it. So this is how you know that your consistency wasn't thick enough of how much you put in the glitter. So that means you're going to need to put more in the resin so you have that, thar that really thick um, barrier right there so you're not going to see through. So I wanted to show you this one. This is the red one. It's perfect. The coverage is there. I don't see through it. And this is the blue one where I didn't put enough glitter that I wanted to show you the difference. Okay, so this is the final steps. We already did the final layer on all three of them. Now we're going to demold them. And this is the final look. How gorgeous that is. Okay. I ended up using the sapphire glitter on this one because it was a thicker cut. Here's the blue one. So cute. And then the purple background one. Okay, so here you can tell that the glitter is thicker on this side and less on this side. So that's when I was talking about where you want to make sure you put a lot of glitter in the resin for good coverage. But I'm not worried about it and I'll tell you why. Because I'm going to end up putting a cork on the very bottom. There we go. So what I'll do is I'll stick this on the bottom and then um, that's what it'll be. It's not going to show the white because the sticker comes off. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to lightly sand the edges. <clears throat> just so it's flat. And I'm not touching here. I'm just really just trying to flatten just to anything that feels rough on the, ed on the sides. In this part, all I'm doing is just lightly sanding around and I'm going to repeat the process for the last one and then I'm going to finish placing all the corks on the back. I will go ahead and list that in the description so you guys can purchase the right one on Amazon. As soon as you're done, I just freshly cleaned it and now the final step would be adding the permanent vinyl and there's no need to seal these since this is permanent vinyl that you're using so there's no need to mess around with it or add another layer or anything like that. I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, please let me know what you think. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and we'll see you soon on the next tutorial. Have a good one.